Yeah, well, this is just some of the knives I got. A lot of them are actually from Bud K. Some of them are pretty cheap knives and fairly cheap, but good values for the money. And there's a couple of uh, smaller axes. And I do actually have an old military axe around. These are basically hardly ever used, man. You can see the stickers are still on them and stuff. But um, I want to tell you something about these S-Wing products, man. I'm highly, highly freaking... Man, I think they're great for what you're paying for them. Um, one of the big questions out there is, and I'm going to make a recommendation just from uh, looking at this, how this, the axe feels and uh, the weight of it and what it can do and what the knives are um, for what's your best survival tool. Well, first off, any knife is better than no knife. <laughs> that's, that's number one. But um, the thing is, what's better, a uh, big knife or a small axe if you just got one? I'm going to tell you small axe, but I'm going to say a specific type that might surprise you. Now, first off, if you got a big knife and you got a small axe, you're going to have a little blade like that, right? I mean, this isn't going to be much to carry with you. This is a one of them Bud K knockoffs, says Rebel on it, but it's aluminum handle. It's pretty, it's pretty thick. I don't think this thing would fall apart, even though it was like ridiculously dirt cheap <laughs> I would I pretty much trust this damn thing even though I got better stuff than that than this I don't think this would be too bad to tell you the truth because there's no plastic in it you know it's made in China but I'm just talking about this would be something for you know cutting rope or something nothing real heavy duty and we're talking about and the other thing is if you're taking a small knife with you I really would recommend the smaller version of the K-Bar with the serrated edge or they got that Air Force survival knife this is very similar same kind of damn thing um, this is a handy size so you can carry this with a small axe and I think this would suffice as a knife but we're talking big knives versus small axe I think a small and there's a particular kind of small axe I want to talk about because I don't really have like I don't have all the axes out here but this was uh, you know Pakistani special pretty much works like a freaking axe too it's messing around with us testing it out I think it's all six stainless steel it's not that bad actually freaking 20 bucks it's a crazy price um, this was another freaking bud case special Pakistani freaking all six stainless steel 10 bucks I think you'd break this after a while though, but I don't know. I mean, well, we're talking survival. Um, these aren't bad camp knives though. They ain't bad. They ain't bad. This one's pretty damn light. Now, what about a USMC K bar? Real K bar. Big one. Serrated edge on the back. Would this be better than a small axe? I don't say no. This is a damn good knife though. Um, this is not garbage. This is freaking really damn good. This thing is not going to fall apart. But. If I had just one tool, um, this is just, I got a real K bar, just a, just a Chinese one I keep out. The other one's locked up and safe. Um, you can see the difference in size, you know. This one, we could be considered a large knife. That would tow. Or something along that size line, a buoy, right? Um, this one, my humble opinion, it's pretty freaking damn good for 20 bucks. This is the M48. I don't want to tell you, call it again, Tactical Commando. That saw works pretty freaking damn good. I was surprised. And um, it's it's got better. I think it's OS8 stainless steel or some shit. I think it's pretty it's pretty decent stuff, man. It's not crappy junk. Um, I actually made this so kind of fail safe so you when you put that through here and you put this through there right you also got this little thing you push through here which double locks it <laughs> this thing could be kind of can consider a chopper too and a saw the saw and this thing works okay messed around with it a little bit this thing actually is pretty freaking handy an s-wing don't fall apart because I had, I got some S-wing hammer that my great uncle had from the 1950s, and I used the shit out of it. Now, this is not the long handled camp. I got the long handled camp axe, but one thing I like about this one, you know, 
brand spanking new basically right messed around with it a little bit and like I said I got some army axes that are uh, freaking all green you know that they got expense a lot of extensive use this is a good axe but I'm gonna tell you which I'm surprised why people didn't say this in other videos now this I made this I bought this leather sheath for it because it don't come with a sheath I put the speedy stitcher through here to tighten up this crap I put a, um, a freaking big quarter inch rivet through there to tighten up this side so the sheath holds on there nice and tight it's a leather sheath right I'm gonna tell you if I had one tool out there that was rather that was a uh, large say a small axe or a large knife it would be this framers gobber, jobber here man this thing riggers axe this thing you know why because it's a lot less weight than this bad boy and it's got a lot more handle on it than the sportsman's axe which is like only 12 inches so when you're talking you know the sportsman axe comes up to here this one's got a lot more handle on it so you got a lot more swinging power man you got a lot more speed with one hand and this thing is significantly lighter than this like this is um one or two hands camp axe and I got the one that's two hands which is tubular as you get down a little ways this is all forged steel all the way through so is this a little lighter you can see it's a little lighter this is a little lighter than that but I would I, if I had one survival tool out there I take this and the other reason is this this thing chops like a son of a bitch man I was messing around with it a little bit this axe chops way better than my old Army military Marine Corps green axe much better design but this has a thinner profile maybe it's not as good for splitting wood but you can see you see the head on there the one on the right with the blue that's the framers axe it's even thinner it's even thinner this thing has got a better edge on it and I know it's clear coated and that's why it's all shiny silver but S-Wing stuff don't rust out too easy you know this is a uh, beaten USA right the other thing is it's got this nail puller on it now I know supposedly like if you're out there in a damn survival situation you're not gonna run a crit to nails but then again maybe you are Maybe you're going to find some abandoned crappy ass place that's got some blue wood laying around that fell apart or something. And you can pull those damn nails out and you got a better hammer with this than you do with this. You know? The really reality situation is that we're not living out in the 1700s anymore. Even when you go out in the woods there's a lot of crap you can find out there that's just busted up this, shot up cars and whatever junk people dumped out there you can use this to pull nails out of something somebody dumped and use those nails to make something with see if you actually you know this is a big if you had clean water and quality food with this damn thing yeah I mean, you could <laughs> theoretically it'd take you a year though you could build a house with a damn thing this damn thing all out of wood you could do anything with this thing as long as you had the water and the food and all that the other thing is this thing almost is like that knife the specialized scraping knife that you use to uh, process game with you know it's got that big blade on it when you get it right down to the bone that is I know you can, I know you can use a knife but there's so many times even this big ass now I know some of you rag on me Pakistani blade but just for the size of it this thing actually chops wood okay man surprisingly but this thing it's got the weight on the end it's gonna it chops wood way better than that um, you better off for if you have one larger size tool that's gonna be your survival tool I would trust this bad boy it's all steel down here too this is not a tube steel this is steel steel I mean yeah it's not as thick as this one you ain't gonna break this damn thing you know you know how many freaking uh, 
roofers use this damn thing all the time they smack they smack it in nails framers use this it's a rigger's axe use this to scrape off shingles pull nails you know it could be a gut puller you know you pull the guts out of the animal after you kill it all right I only say this one it's it's a little it's a little more compact you see there's you see an S-wing makes S-wing I respect the shit out of okay made in the USA and everything not much money really good steel probably you might need to sharpen it just a hair more the other thing it's steel it's not stainless steel so if you got your proverbial you know uh, fire starter you can use this with your fire starter stainless steel and fire starters don't work too well this thing does um, because it's regular carbon steel and it's a carbon steel that doesn't really um, rust that easy I don't know what the hell is in it it's tool steel okay it's tool steel I know they clear coat it but it, it doesn't rust as easy as some of the other carbon steels out there I don't know what the hell the alloy is but it's some pretty good crap this axe is a little bit bigger than the sportsman's axe so sportsman's the sportsman axe is great but this thing is better this thing's better it's a little longer it's a little thinner a little more less profile to it you know it's got the hammerhead on it so if you did pull out some rusty nails out of some crap that you found out there that was busted up in the woods hey you can go to town man you can make yourself a I mean you get yourself a dozen nails you pull out of some crap you might find it I mean you really will I mean we're not living out in 1700s anymore a lot of crap out in the woods that's been abandoned I would go for this number one and also just the size of it it's like I said it's lighter than this one it's probably very 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 close to the sportsman's axe weight but man you're talking sportsman's axe like this is 16 inches long overall right so this is sportsman's axe would come up to here so you be grabbing it over here swinging you got all that extra shit you can be grabbing and it feels just right man this thing this thing is made for swinging all day man like when your framer your your pounded I know I know you got the you got the roofing nailer with your with your air compressor but you know there's other roofers that use the old way you know this thing to me would be number one and if you're gonna carry another knife that's not really big I'd recommend the USMC smaller version of the K-Bar with um, because this K-Bar in this together is about what this one is and this is this I can't knock this product okay but I don't know why people aren't thinking of this this to me in modern day survival this thing is more important because like I said it's got a nail puller on it too and it's got a hammer a real hammer head um, you're not going to necessarily be out in the middle of freaking woods 8 million miles from because even when you're in the woods miles away from shit from things there's so many people that have lived in the woods before and built crap that or dumped stuff out there you're going to find stuff you can use and you probably find stuff with nails in it and you got your nail puller yeah I guess you could pull your nail out with this but then again like I said these two together weigh roughly about what this is and this is not the full size axe or you can get and you know I'm somebody's gonna rag on me for this the made in China rebel but you know this is even this is I think this is like six bucks you know it's not gonna freaking rust on you really you know like I got two of these one's one's a little smaller and one's a little bit bigger maybe you take the smaller one they were ten bucks you tell me these are shit I don't think so no plastic in here man you know so which large tool to get I'm gonna say this one right here man the s-wing riggers axe for like framing and stuff it's three pounds 16.75 inches made in the USA it's got a nail puller on it you can chop wood with this all day it's got a nice swing on it it's got the shock absorption handle you're never gonna break this it's solid steel you know if you overstrike nothing's gonna happen with this damn thing it's 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 quality steel you know it's not good it's people messing around with this they use this for ripping off shingles and crap man you know 
and if you throw another knife in there that's not ridiculously big I would really recommend the USMC smaller version of the K-Bar the one at the serrated edge this damn thing gotta open it up <laughs> snap is on there the serrated edge partial serrated edge that sucker believe me that serrated edge comes in handy very very much so and this thing is well built ain't going nowhere it's not the Chinese one or not this is the real one just the K-Bar right and I got the real K-Bar like that so you know they're safe that's a real K-Bar I mean I got cheap stuff and you know because I use all this shit every once in a while I rotate them these have gotten very little use but I've noticed I've also noticed my old army green whatever the hell that damn thing is I messed around with it man the technology on these axes has gotten so much better this thing is way easier to swing at an old army axe but this one is even more easy this this would if I had one tool out with me would be this and this thing is a lot easier to operate like a knife if you want to scrape you know make your feather sticks and stuff this thing is it's got the profile of the edge is a lot finer. This sucker's sharp, man. It feels like a knife. It feels like you can cut paper with it. I don't have any paper out here, but it feels sharper than an axe. A lot sharper. It's skinnier, but it's not cheap, man. Shit ain't gonna fall apart, man. It's designed for freaking working on houses. And like I said, if you got, well, big deal if you freaking if you find all the freaking high quality food in the world and you got fresh water and, you, and with this thing you'll be out there you can make not just a camp you could probably make a uh, I don't know a house a jacuzzi uh, freaking sun deck <laughs> I mean as long as, you know as long as you got freaking food and water forever and it's so high quality but theoretically you could do everything with this damn thing you could build with this bad boy <laughs> you could build with this damn thing so theoretically as long as you've got sustenance with you with you know that you could find which you know is a whole nother story but we're just talking about the tool this everybody everybody ignores this one everybody they ignore this one okay I'm not giving you a demonstration but I could tell you from my mechanical know-how uh, just messing around with tools for eight million freaking years and I know even though these are brand new and I kind of messed around with them a little bit this bad boy is easy to swing, it's lightweight, and it's a hammer, and it's a nail puller. Don't estimate, underestimate the fact that you got a nail puller with you, and don't underestimate the fact that this thing is sharp as a freaking good knife, which other axes aren't. And don't underestimate the fact that you can process your game just like that special blade that does it, that's real wide, that gets it right down to the bone. And even this damn thing, you probably stick it in there, you know, where you make the cut, and then use this as a gut hook even pull out the guts and then uh, and the other thing is too here's another thing that you could do with a axe that you really can't do too well with a knife well first off this blades like coated right you know now you can stick you can say you got a piece of meat and you stuck it in the fire you could pretty much do that with this probably better off doing it with this but this bad boy is pretty heavy man this one's probably a hair lighter than that freaking Timberwolf freaking th blade, which is not. And I think this is only like, I forget what this is. It ain't much, man. It's way less than you think. But you could stick some meat on here. And I know this clear coat's going to have to burn off of here. And just kind of have that over the fire. And uh, you got your own little blade over here. Just scrape it off and poke it and eat it, right? I mean, you can kind of use this as a... Um, what do you call it? A little, little cooking utensil, if you really had to, right? And like I said, since it's steel, not stainless steel, steel steel, your uh, your fire starter is going to work with it when you strike it on there. And this sucker, man, it's like it's pretty much indestructible, man. And with this shark absorber, I'm going to tell you right now. You know why I really love these S wings? I got, like I said, I got that freaking um. Shit, let me pull it out, man. <laughs> it's over here. And here it is. This bitch. This thing's from the 1950s. You know how many quarter panels I beat out with this thing? This shock absorption material works great, man. Doesn't tire your hands out. 
<laughs> you know, I did body work on cars. That's what got me on to getting some more of these S-Wings, and I thought maybe they're out of business. I was like, there's everything else in the USA is out of business. This thing with this handle is going to be less problem swinging this bitch around on this handle. <laughs> You're going to feel it. But I still, I kind of like this thing. It's, it's very uh, Western outlawish, lawish, but you know, that's what they call it. Yeah. No shit. Am I being very practical minded on this? Yeah. Because, you know, not most of the freaking woods you go out in, I don't give a shit where the hell you are. You usually run into some junk somebody dumps somewhere. It's got nails in it. Pull them out. Right? You got a hammer. It's lightweight. It's easy to swing. It's got... What the hell? If this is... Alright. So, one, two, three. The, yeah, the sportsman's axe will be about up to there. You'd be gripping it right here. This thing's got way more swing on it. It's about the same us, the same height. I don't know why people aren't even thinking of this for shit for camping. Because they advertise this as the rigger's axe. This fucker thing, excuse me, this thing is way better for survival than any of them. Pound for pound. It's cheap. It's made in the USA. And you ain't gonna break that shit. Not with that handle like that. Don't need no bullshit high tech freaking carbon fiber cover with fiberglass. It's the whole damn thing is tool steel, right? It ain't gonna break. You know? And it's made in the USA tool tool steel. Not advertised tool shit steel, right? Right there. Right? So no demonstration, but just just let me tell you, my mechanical experience and my experience with tools for the last fifty years, even though I'm a freaking bean counter mainly. Tells me this bitch, this would definitely be my number one choice as an only tool out there. But if I was out there, I'd probably have all these in my little freaking Suzuki SJ413. These all would be in there. The old nine yards with a bunch of guns and ammo and whatever. <laughs> anyway, over and out.